Welcome back to News 13 Now. Many of us have seen Myrtle Beach Fire Department crews out and about. They're working hard to save lives, but something many of you may not know, I had no idea till very recently. They have their very own hockey team. So here to tell us more about the team and their next upcoming game and why it's such a big deal to them. Welcome team captain Matt Sharizio. Did I say that right? Yes, ma'am. I Charizio, did. Yep. Perfect. All right. So we're talking a little bit about the hockey team and you okay. were saying it started about five years ago. How did, mm -hmm. how did this get started? Who started this? Um, a, a gentleman from the fire department named Blake Cute started mm -hmm. the hockey team and uh, he's since moved back to New York State. So I took over when he left. Mm -hmm. um, I played hockey my whole life. So oh, great. figured it was something that I could handle and, and take take over and do pretty good with. So. It, it sounds a lot of fun. It mm -hmm. sounds like maybe some team building. Yes. You know, yes. I'm sure. Yes. You know, our job is very serious and stressful and we can go out there and have fun and, and be ourselves and have a good time. And yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. Great. I, I've never, I'm, I'm not much of an ice skater, so. Getting me out there would not even work. Uh, now, the proceeds from the upcoming game that you mm -hmm. have on August 20th, it's something that's uh, really close to your guys' heart, isn't yes. it? Yes, Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, Captain Ron Green from the Horry County Fire Department, he's a retired battalion chief out of uh, Baltimore City Fire Department, and his wife also was a Baltimore City firefighter, and she is recovering from breast cancer. Oh, wow. So um, we reached out to Baltimore City, and we've been in contact with them, and they're going to come down and play us here in Wilmington, North Carolina, um, at 6 p.m. Saturday, August 20th. And uh, all the proceeds from the game, ticket sales, everything will go to the Green family to help pay for their medical bills. And so uh, how can we help? I mean, we're allowed to come watch you guys, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Anybody can come. Um, the tickets are available at the door. Mm -hmm. They're $10 a piece. Like I said, all the money goes to the, the family. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have our, our fire department admin secretaries come, and they're going to be selling T-shirts. We have hockey pucks with our logo on them. They're going to be for sale. Um, you can get any kind of merchandise, fire department, hockey stuff up at our admin office at 921B North Oak Street in Myrtle Beach. Okay. They're all for sale or online, so. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. And of course, I mean, we all know there's no really, there's no ice rink in Horry County. So no. how do you guys practice? Uh, we go to Wilmington. We okay. rent the ice up in Wilmington. Um, we travel all over really to play. Uh, we, two months ago, we were in Charlotte. We mm -hmm. played Charlotte. We only had nine guys show up because of people working on shift or not being able to get time off or things like that. And it's, it's tough, but uh, we go up to Wilmington and uh, we play most of our home games are in Wilmington. Mm -hmm. And um, so they're going to come down and play us in Wilmington. We, usually we go to Charleston for some games. It's all the whole team. The games we play are based on charities. So oh, whenever we play a game, there's always a charity involved and oh. the proceeds go to a charity. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, so how do you feel? How do you feel about this upcoming game? Do you feel pretty confident? Yeah, I, I think we're ready. <laughs> yeah, we ready. got a full <laughs> roster for this game. So. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Good, good. Yep. All right, so that is August 20th. You can buy tickets at the door. All the proceeds go to a, a really, really good cause. Thank you so much um, for joining us today, Matt. Thank you we for having me. We appreciate it. This is his first time uh, live on air, and I think it went okay, right? You feel yeah. pretty good about it? Not bad. All right, good. Thanks, Matt.